Hello everybody and welcome to my next Let's Play, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. This game is widely considered to be the best 3D Sonic game, uh, for multiple reasons, mainly because almost every other Sonic game is kind of really bad, save for Generations or, uh, I've heard that some people like, um, what was it, Unleashed? Unleashed is okay, I suppose. Colors is another good one. Other than that, there doesn't seem to be very many good ones. Um, so this is the battle version, which means it's basically the GameCube port, except I'm playing this on Steam, so... And I think all the battle really adds is some extra content in two-player, which I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show off or not. However, this is going to be a 100% playthrough, which means we're going to get every single emblem, which is 180. I have a file here that has 110. That's a failed recording. Um, because a glitch happened in the first level, and I'm not sure if it's going to happen again. Um, and I'm going to start a new file. Now, I have gotten more than 110 emblems before. Uh, this basically happened uh, when I had a GameCube and I played the game. I lost all of the data from that, though. Um, I had, like, I don't know, 150 or so. I'd never been able to get all of the emblems for getting A ranks in every single mission, and you basically have to have an incredibly overpowered Chow to get all the emblems from that. That's basically all I've been unable to do. I'm going... This will be the first time I 100% the game, if I do. So hopefully I will be able to go through with that. I will try my d hardest. I, only said, I almost said my darnest. Um, but without further ado... Let's start the hero story. Oh my god, this intro. Let me tell you what, it's a piece of work. Sigma Alpha 2, heading due south over the city. We're en route, everything's a go. This is Control Tower. We have you on radar. Report cargo status of captured Hedgehog board. Over. That's a 10-4. Cargo secured on board and... What? And Hedgehog is over. gone. He's taken out everyone aboard and... What's wrong? What in the Come world? Here. Over. What do you think you're doing? Get that hedgehog! Talk about low-budget flights, no food or movies. I'm out of here. I like running better. Yeah! So, there's your opening. Did you hear what they said, though? Sonic literally murdered everyone on that plane to get off. It's... that's insane. I mean, I guess they could have meant he, like, knocked them out, not, like, completely murdered them. But still, there's the possibility that they meant murder. So while we're in this beginning section here, um, by the way, this isn't actually how the whole game goes, although I'm sure everyone knows how this game goes. Uh, this is just a little snowboarding section. Snowboarding. S is it roadboarding? section at the beginning of the game, and we're gonna see if the glitch happens. It happened again! Okay, so every time I've played this, ever since I tried recording, this glitch has happened. There is a truck on top of my head, and I don't know why, but it's going to mess up the camera and everything in this level. Um, it only happens in this level, I've tested other levels, so that's odd. Also, it's weird playing this without all of the like, power-ups you have by the end of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and explain the score system. Basically, you get score, you get points for going fast, you get points for having rings, you get points for doing tricks, and you get points for killing enemies. Speed is not top priority when you're trying to get a high score. Killing enemies is, and rings are pretty influential as well. Oh my god, I can't see. I can't see anything. I'm sorry that this is the first level, but oh my god. So, every level is going to have three chow boxes. I'm not going to get all the chow boxes, but I am going to get the key for every character. This basically allows you to go to the chow garden with that character that you got the chow key with. Um, any boxes you get after the first will actually have animals that you can use to power up your- Oh, dear god, this camera angle. This isn't actually how the game was pro- Oh, I missed that. I'm actually going to go back and get that, just so I can show off the animals. The animals you get from, uh... Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> from the extra boxes are actually more rare than all the other animals and tend to give you better effects. So what do we get from this one? 
some skunks, a rabbit, and a raccoon. Not the best, but once we get the third box, the, the animals will be a lot better. Um, the things that are popping out of these enemies, wow, I'm good. The things that are popping out of these enemies are crowns? I think they're actually called Chaos Drives, but they've always looked like crowns to me. Uh, you can give them to your Chow and they'll level up a certain stat according to their color, while animals tend to level up more stats, yet um, will lower other ones. So I tend to go Chaos Drives too, uh, or go Chaos Drives almost exclusively. Um, animals also change the appearance of your Chow, and there is one animal that's also a rare one that resets the appearance. So like, say you give a Chow a cheetah, it'll maybe have like a cheetah tail or cheetah paws or something like that. And that's real cool, and it's like a ghost enemy that gives you um, the reset. So yeah, we got a unicorn from that third one, and um, as I'm sure you can assume, that's a pretty rare animal. Also, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, the screen's gonna go buggy again. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, I don't know what happens, I promise. This is the only level that this happens. Well, I mean, I can't promise it. There might be something I haven't seen. Oh. Oh. Yeah, don't blame the game here. I've never seen this glitch happen before, like, today. So, yeah. With this, it's going to be maybe a little bit of a challenge to get the A ranks in, this, in these levels, these missions. But, uh, we'll try to live with it. Um, also, every every level in the game has five missions. Usually the first one is just beat the level. The second one, um, I might be get, doing these out of order. Uh, the sec There's one mission that is get 100 coins as fat, or 100 rings as fast as possible. There's one that's find a hidden chow, also big in the corner over there. Uh, big the cat, I mean. There's one that's, uh, what else is there? Oh, be, beat it on hard mode, and there's one that's like speed run, and of course these missions vary from level to level. Also, there's a hidden animal back here. There's like, I think, 15 hidden animals in every level, and as you can see, there's a counter in the bottom right corner to keep track of all the animals. I only got one in this level, but, I mean, they're not really too hard to find, except if you're like searching for the last one. I'm gonna say that's a C. That's a C rank. Yeah, no, that's a B. Yeah, you have to play really well to get an A rank in most of the levels. So don't be discouraged if you get get anything other than A. Also, our first emblem. And we're going straight to Chow World. Why not show this off right away? So, this is the Chow Lobby. This is the Chow Garden. Uh, wait a second. Do Chows carry over from each account? They do, what? I didn't know that they have. Okay, so chows in each file remain in the game, but for my purposes, I'm going to actually throw these chow. I'm going to literally dispose of these chows. His name is Boop. Yeah, he's like level 20 and everything. Goodbye, chow. <laughs> throw him in the trash. I want this to be pure, all 100% in the let's play. I want to, uh, this makes me so sad. I don't like this. Everything wants, I want everything to be 100% pure in the let's play. I might grind the chows up off screen or maybe do a stream or something of it. But other than that, everything will be covered in the gameplay. Any chows I get, any chows I use, everything. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and throw all of our chows away. One thing I can't undo is the fact that we have two other chow gardens unlocked which are usually unlocked if you uh, raise a demon chow or an angel chow, which is determined by what characters you visit the chows with. If you visit them with hero characters, then the chow becomes a little good uh, thing chow, happy chow, angel chow, that's what it's called. If you, oh, is it automatically gonna kick me out? It is. Okay, well, I guess I'll explain that later. This is the first boss. So you might be noticing something with the uh, dialogue in this game. Characters tend to cut each other off. A lot. I don't know why, but they do it all the time. 
Also, the auto audio leveling in this game isn't the best. You'll find out that uh, cutscenes tend to be have really loud music and really like not loud dialogue. It happens often. It's not me. I promise. Um, you'll definitely see the uh, people talking over each other in the next cutscene after this boss, because oh my god, the edginess is too strong. But this game is fun. That's why we like it. It's not because the cutscenes are top notch. They were good at. They were. No, I'm not gonna say they're good at the time, but they were good if you were a child and who didn't know the difference between a good cutscene and a bad cutscene. Which you know, main demographic, whatever. Although you really shouldn't rate a game by just their main demographic unless it's literally like an early childhood game. So yeah, like I said, this is the easy boss. I don't know if I did say that actually, but. Pretty much every boss in this game, save for the last couple of bosses, are easy. So we won't have to worry about much on the lines of our HP, or not our HP, but our life count. Um, like every other game, of course, your rings are your hits, basically. If you take a hit, you lose your rings. Except if you're Tails. So I'll explain that once we get to his Tails level, which may or may not be next. I don't remember. I think it's actually Knuckles. Hey guys, there are six different kinds, or six different characters that are playable in this game. Just to make that clear. What? It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the... Chaos Emerald! Now I know what's going on! The military has mistaken me for the likes of you! So, where do you think you're going with that Emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos Control! <laughs> okay, it's literally a still image with effects on it. Not his speed. He must be using the Chaos Emerald to war. <laughs> Did you hear that? He must be using the Chaos Emerald to my shadow. God. So you're telling me? Oh, I guess those cutscenes aren't over. Emerald's mine. You got that? The Master Emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emeralds. That makes it very powerful. What the? What? Thief? Look who's calling who a thief. I came here following the signal from the Emerald. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Master Emerald. Is not Dr. Eggman. So that's Dr. Eggman. Well, I guess Something. I'll just take it with me. Farewell, knucklehead. You literally cannot hear him. <laughs> what a scream. What was that all about? And look what you did to my emerald! I did that to prevent the master emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your emerald. Doesn't matter. I'll look into it once I get back to the base. Golly gee. Cutscenes, man. It hurts. Anyone who takes jewels from me. All the world's gems are mine to keep. Yeah, we'll see about that, bad girl. Alright. So this is um our first knuckle stage. Knuckle stages are basically treasure hunting stages. You have to find three pieces of the Chaos Em or the Master Emerald. And uh You'll find these TVs around that'll give you hints. If you pause the game, it'll roll the hints down there in the bottom. Stone Statue Quartet. I think I know where this is. Um, but let's talk about these cutscenes. So the main plot of this game, or not the main plot, uh, everyone is mistaking Sonic for Shadow. Shadow's been causing chaos around everywhere, and people are like, oh, let's capture Sonic, because he obviously looks exactly like Shadow. 
Also, uh, where is this thing? Can I adjust the camera at all? I can. It's the bumpers. Okay. That makes sense. Stone Statue Quartet should be behind us. Or I'm wrong. See, I said I think I know where everything is. <laughs> I didn't say I explicitly know. Oh, wait, hold on. There is a chow box right here. Not sure where the other two are, but I found one. So that'll do for our needs. I think the statues are actually down here. Oh, okay. May not get the A rank. By the way, the less hints you use, the higher score you get. See, there's four statues here, and hey, we got it. Wait, that wasn't even the one we were looking for, I don't think. Oh my god. So, uh, the radar will beep when you're near the Chaos Emerald, or the Chaos Shard? Master Shard. I don't know. That you are, um, currently looking for. So it'll go in order one, two, three. Even if you're around a different Chaos Shard, it'll only beep for a certain one. The one that you're getting hints for. You can, of course, as I showed off, get the others out of order, but you kind of have to come across them by luck. Where is this thing? Come on, is it in the rock? No. I know that's a spot that can sometimes have it. Um, I'm gonna check this way. Maybe that was the one that we were going for. Is it possibly over here? Nope, it's getting green. By the way, you wanna try and find out where it's red? Is it in this rock? It is, okay. So you see, I, I didn't use any hints for that particular chaos shard, so I got um, 1,500 points for it. Whereas the other chaos, I didn't, I didn't check how many points I got for the other chaos shard, but it wasn't that many. So I think we actually did get the one we were looking for, maybe. I don't know. I didn't quite notice. Uh, looks like the last one's going to be down here, unless it's, you know, over in the other corner. So I'll go ahead and check that one. And oh my God, can we talk about the sexual tension between Knuckles and Rouge? Oh, gee willies. Oh, looks like it is over here. More animals. Why not? I will need to get myself a chow, which I'm probably going to have to spend rings to get. Also, I should mention there's a couple of things that, a couple of secrets that we can't get until we get certain upgrades, which we do not have at this moment. Or cannot access, rather. Another one. Yup, I'll take it. We're gonna make a really raunchy looking uh, chow, but hey, it's worth it. Where could this last one be? It's real close. Is it in the enemy? I think it is. It is. I, I think. I can't see! Uh, oh, I saw it. Hold on, I'm gonna collect these rings just for score sake. So usually if you get all of the Chaos Shards in a reasonable time without using hints, then you'll get A rank. I don't think I did, though. Not too bad. Yeah, I got C. Mainly because I lost. I only had eight rings at the end there, which gave me like no, no score at all. Also, that took longer than the usual Knuckles level. Chow World. Okay, while we're in Chow World here, I'm going to actually go ahead and end it off. Oh, I haven't actually unlocked the uh, Devil Chow World yet. Huh. I do have Heaven though. Uh, so join me next time when we go to the Chow Kindergarten and hopefully purchase ourselves a baby. So I'll see you all then, and goodbye.